We are here to talk about Michael Carrick at Middlesbrough, who have been playing some fantastic football. So far, within 17 games, he's got them from 22nd to 3rd, which is remarkable, winning 76% of their game. So what we are going to do is find out how, and also we are going to recreate that in Football Manager. To help us understand what exactly Michael Carrick is doing at Middlesbrough, I've designed this sort of scout report and I've taken some key information of what I've seen from Michael Carrick so far. The base formation is a 4231 is it a 424 we don't exactly know but what we do know is the forwards like to stay high the attacking midfielder if it's a 4231 is usually Chuba Apcon who can drop deep to receive from the attacking midfield areas but he also pushes up to make it a more of a 424 shape not only is their base formation fluid but also their build up shape as well that resembles somewhat of a 325 or a 334 the right back sometimes Tommy Smith he would like to tuck inside to make it a back three while Gals the left back he was also very comfortable as a left winger will push higher up and then you've got your double pivot in midfield if it's a 3-2-5 or in a 3-3-4 sometimes an attacking midfielder or the left midfielder will make up the three in midfield Michael Carrick at Middlesbrough are a possession-based side and what you tend to see from possession-based sides is play out from the back but that's a very very difficult idea to install at a new club so what we can see sometimes from Middlesbrough is the goalkeeper Zach Steffen he can take a long ball into the midfield area and then what Middlesbrough will then look to do is kind of box in the opponent so if they win the second ball Middlesbrough can then receive the ball play it um, play the pass backwards and start their build-up played from there they can start to build up their attacks from deep from there instead of using the goalkeeper to pass it out from the back during the initial build-up phase Middlesbrough use him as an outlet to recycle possession and start attacks all over again inviting the opposition to step up the defensive block and press them which leaves space for Borough to play back into in the final third Middlesbrough look to cross the ball a lot and they work their way into that situation by creating wider overloads and combinations and that allows or that frees up the crosser on the ball to then get the ball into the box so you could say that Middlesbrough are relying on quality deliveries inside the box, which could possibly be true, but they do have the quality crosses in the team. But also the fullback on the right hand side is fairly interesting because during the build up, he plays sort of a right side of central defender. A back three is what Middlesbrough used under the previous manager Wilder. But Wilder also like to use overlapping or underlapping centre backs, which is what we also see from Tommy Smith in that right back or right side of central back area. He likes to get further forward, likes to underlap or overlap Jones on the right hand side. And again, he can be a free man to get the ball into the box or he can free Jones up and he can get the ball into the box on the right hand side, which is actually very similar to Barcelona. But also the box shape in midfield is very similar to what Barcelona do as well. There is a brilliant post on Twitter. The Twitter handle is talking tactics about this. Uh, Michael Carrick's box shape in midfield. Archer often drifts out to the left hand side. This opens up space for Tuba Atcon, the number 10, to drive through. Falls is equally comfortable playing wide or as a centre forward, and Burrow will play a 4 2 4 or a 4 2 2 2 if Tommy Smith pushes down the right hand side. And you can see this on this image here um, Tommy Smith on the right hand side, but you can also see the box shape in midfield with Hackney. House and Akpom and McGree. You can also see how I achieved this in Football Manager as well. We created a fluid 3-2-5 or a 3-3-4 shape. You can see the right back, the right side, the centre back as well. Now in the middle of the um, defence and you can see Dal Fry as the left side, the centre back. You can see the left back on the far side with the right ringer holding his width on the right hand side. But Boros forwards look to stay high. You can see Archer as the, um, the striker. Ramsey actually receives the ball. As soon as he receives the ball, he plays the backs to Crooks and then he makes the attack and run which then makes this shape now a 4-2-4 and you can also see how we created the box midfield with the left winger the left side of defensive midfielder the right side of defensive midfielder and the attacking midfielder so going back to the report, Middlesbrough will look to keep their forwards high, rotating and operating between the lines and on the shoulders of the back line, also occupying all the attacking lanes. Something similar, we hear something similar when talking about Pep Guardiola's tactics. Lastly, Middlesbrough will look to use a mid to high block. So when the goalkeeper is playing out the opposition goalkeeper, Middlesbrough will then look to adopt a high pressing shape. But as the opponents are building up, Middlesbrough will look to uh, drop into a mid block and just cut in off the central passing lanes that attackers working really really hard we had michael carrick ball in full flow in football manager in the sky bet championship we just completely dominated
dominated. I say we completely dominated. Norwich also done very well, but we played 46, winning 36 of those, drawing six and losing four in the MRS FA Cup. We got knocked out in the fourth round by Brentford. Uh, no embarrassment there, but embarrassment here in the Carabao Cup. We got knocked out in the first round by Grimsby Town, but you guys could have guessed it. I was rotating my side heavily in the cup competition, so they're fit and ready for the league games. But this is what we want to see. Middlesbrough scoring the most goals, 117. We didn't actually take the most shots for. We had the second most shots for, and we had the fewest shots against, meaning our defenders were, well, we defended really, really well. And I'm talking from the attacking line to the defensive line. Most possession, we come in third place, 59% of the ball, we are possession based. We did complete the most dribbles, we had the most clean sheets, and the fewest conceded. We dominated our games, absolutely dominated. You can see where the final third passes for. We come in third, but also looking at the final third passes against, nobody had better um, stats than us. We defended really, really well, but also progressed the ball really, really well. I also mentioned how important crossing was, but not just crossing, the quality of crosses. We can see here with the crossing statistics, we had the highest crossing completion rate. We actually completed um, a lot of crosses per game, but we did have the best completion um, ratio in the league, which means that we were crossing or we had some quality crossing in our games. And to further prove our dominance in the championship, you can see with the goal output here, high scoring, but also very impenetrable defense. That's how dominant Middlesbrough's championship season was. The general performance as well, we scored 2.5 goals per game. The expected goals per game, almost two, 1.8 eight shots per game 15 shots per game we were getting our shots on target we were completing our passes tackles one ratio is a bit lower that's possibly because we're using get stuck in so if you remove that the tackle ratio possibly does go up but maybe the intensity drop which is what i didn't want to happen in football manager there's three different versions to this i always give you guys multiple tactics but um this is kind of the final version so rds carrot burrow then we have the original what i started with because during the season, you will always have to tweak. You always have to. So this, I would say this lasted around 15 to 20 games before I felt, okay, something needs tweaking, something needs changing, where you can see some changes here. For example, the striker role and the attacking midfielder has uh, changed. And then also some team instructions as well. So let's go through it. Let's go through it. Um, the mentality is, uh, we use a balanced mentality, attacking width fairly narrow. So what actually is an effective way to create those wider overloads and combinations is actually to look to play the ball in those central areas but then focus attacks on the flank so you're actually passing the ball into the um, middle area when you're building up but then you're kind of freeing up the wider players on the outside then you can kind of get the ball on the outside and you can create your overloads and your combinations out on the wider areas approach play we are passing the space and um, passing the ball into space even encouraging more forward runs overlap on the left hand side I didn't have overlap on the right hand side because once you see the right back row it kind of just it didn't really make sense. We also got focus play down the left and focus play down the right. And we also got play out from the back. Though I don't have overlap on the right hand side, do not think that he isn't going to get further forward. He will. <laughs> Passing directness is on shorter, but the tempo is on higher. The um, balance mentality tempo is kind of slow. And what I did notice from a lot of people was they were just stepping on the ball and just stopping play. With my center backs, I didn't really mind that because we're encouraging a press. But then it started happening with my midfielders. My fullback will get the ball to the midfielder the midfielders would just stop the play and it was uncalled for they didn't need to do it they can keep play going so i just used the um higher tempo and it kind of eliminated that in transition we are going to use counter press and we are also going to use counter i did do a mini test at plymouth where i didn't use counter because plymouth aren't they are one of the better sides, but they aren't a great side. I feel that Middlesbrough could handle the counter attack and movements, whereas Plymouth, I felt we will get picked off too easily. Plymouth, by the way, we were first. I, mean, I only played 10 games just to check out how it would work in League Two. Lastly, out of possession, we are using a mid block. We've got a standard defensive line. Trigger press is set to more often, so we are breaking our defensive shape, but not continuously or not all the time or any given time we are getting stuck in and also stepping up more now if we go to the original there are some slight differences as you can see the tempo is on standard i changed the tempo i kind of explained why and also pass into space pass into space also helped increase the tempo but the mentality has dropped as well. Maybe the opponents are kind of getting or they sussed out that we are more of a proactive side so the opponents started to use 
or come reactive and that they were starting to pick us off. Maybe that's what happened. But also another change as well is the trigger press. It was on much more often and I have dropped that. We do have an away version. When you are playing the bigger sides away from home or when you're just away from home and you kind of want that result, you can use the Anchorman version where now we're using the Anchorman to screen the back line. Also, the wing back is on support. In turn, the inverted winger is now on on attack looking at the team instructions mentality has dropped to cautious we're looking to hit early crosses so we're not working our way there into those sort of areas we're actually trying to hit those early ones and catch the opponent off guard and i believe that is the only other tweak now for player instructions i don't believe we have many so we do have a super keeper on support at the back we have one um, ball playing defender and one central defender the ball playing defender is ball playing he's going to dribble more and stay wider and then we have a wing back on attack on the left hand side we do have a wing back on defend on the right hand side which is the tommy smith so we, again he is going to get further forward he's just going to measure his run and mainly stay in the back three especially when building up the men in the double pivot we have a defensive midfielder on support and we also have a deep line playmaker on support in the attack line we have an inverted winger on support attacking midfielder on attack a winger on attack on the right hand side stretching the play and then lastly we have the advanced forward up top in the original version it was a pressing forward shadow striker and yeah and then in the away version we have an anchor man and an inverted winger on attack attacking that box attacking that box of course the tactic works in football manager we're going to see some build up play house and gets the ball to giles here the left winger here here's bowler on the ball He's gonna, he's playing it out wide. He's gone wide. Paddy Matt near on the ball now. So the patient and build up, even though we are using a higher tempo. So we've lost the ball, but the counter pressing to win the ball back. Um, Archer doing really well there to get the ball back. Here's Jones. Dyke still now at the right back. Just uh, watch the fullback or the, the defense area here. We can see the back three here and it's slight free in midfield as well obviously jones is going to get further forward and you can see now the four in the attack line is bowler house and giles some nice combination out on the left hand side are we going to get there yes giles wins the ball he's going to drive towards the byline put the ball into the box archer quality cross quality goal here we get to see the box midfield forming actually so here's archer on the ball lenahan the central defender so if we stop play where is it so we can stop play kind of here and you can now you can see that box shape and this is where i got the screenshot from earlier as well so we can see our, our double pivot here holding their base uh, position in midfield then you've got giles the left sided he's actually the left winger but just see how narrow he is and then you've got ramsey the shadow striker or the attacker midfielder dropping deep to receive but then watch ramsey when he does receive the ball passes it backwards look what he does his first moment is to run forward he attacks the channel he gets there and he he scores a goal so from dropping deep and being part of that box he then advances forward attacks the channel and he gets on the end of a free ball this goal was straight from kickoff i mean we literally built up from kickoff we played it back to the center defenders here's diet still the right back jones again slight back free here plays it back into jones jones into ramsey attacking that channel but he's gonna put the ball in the box surely yes there's archer and it's one nil to middlesbrough a while ago i spoke about middlesbrough going long and then boxing them in winning the ball back and then just starting their attacks all over again here's stefan kicks it long and they win the initial header they got johannesson but then we get the ball back and then that allows us now to build our attack so here's the ball playing midfielder giles plays a through ball into ramsey and a lovely goal from middlesbrough the Plymouth results as well. You can see the Sky Bet League One. I think I said uh, League Two earlier. I definitely meant League One. Plymouth on top, playing 10, winning seven, drawing two, losing one. 23 points on the table. We lost to Derby 2 0 away. We also drew two home games uh, Sheffield Wednesday and Bolton as well. Looking at the stats, it's very similar things here. We scored the most goals, the fewest shots against. But when the shots fall, we come in second possession, 56% at Plymouth. And we've had the. I mean, joint fifth fewest conceded. And also you can see here in transition, we are not using counter. Ne not on the away version and not on the home version neither at Plymouth. So that's another tweak for you guys. The download link will be in the description. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel to make sure you are following these tactical videos and any other football manager videos I do. I will see you guys soon. Stay safe. God bless. Peace out. And boop.